Hi guys, Silver Gopher here. Now, a couple of weeks ago in my big mail call, I gave you a brief glimpse at this Maria Teresa taller that Austrian Stacker was so kind enough to gift to me. But I wanted to take a little more time today to give you guys a closer look and also talk about how it was used uh, during World War II. Now, if you want uh, some more information on the taller, make sure you head over to Austrian Stacker's channel and he's got several uh, videos on the tallers and also tons of other cool information if you haven't gone over there you need to go check him out and the link should be in the description and hopefully if it worked in the pop-outs as well okay now this came in this really cool uh, gift card here on the front you have a portrait of Maria Teresa and you can see the obverse of the coin peeking out here on the back are the specifications inside we got a picture of the mint and there you have more information on the taller and you can pause and take a look at that now let me zoom in we'll take a closer look at her. Now the taller is 42 millimeters, slightly bigger than a uh, US silver dollar. It's 28 grams and it's 0.833 silver. Now here on the front you have the portrait of Maria Teresa. Surrounding it it says Maria Teresa by the grace of God, Roman Empress, Queen of Hungary and Bohemia. On the reverse, you have the Austrian coat of arms. And surrounding that, the inscription is Archduchess of Austria, Duchess of Burgundy, Countess of Tyrol. And you can't see it here, but there is an edge of the inscription that says Justice and Mercy. Now, um, these were originally minted between 1740 and 1780 during her reign. After her death in 1780, they decided to continue minting these coins. So all of the ones that you see like this are all re-strikes, and they all bear the 1780 year. Now, they were a trade coin throughout the world in uh, 18th, 19th, early 20th century, and they were especially used in places like North Africa, the Middle East, Indonesia, and in some of those places it was actually a, you know, de facto currency for the country. An interesting thing is they were uh, widely used in different areas during World War II. In 1935, Mussolini got Hitler to get him the dies from Austria to mint coins so that he could use them in his attempt to take over Abyssinia. Kind of following that, London and then uh, Brussels started minting uh, tallers on their own without any permission. So actual forgeries. Now although technically these would be forgeries, they were all of high quality silver and were used for all sorts of regular trade uh, by the troops and authorities in these countries um, during the war. Now uh, it was something like 85 million of these forgeries were minted between like 1935 and 1961 when they actually stopped minting them. Um, London struck about 15 million uh, during the siege of England during the war. Uh, the, the dyes were sent to Bombay and they struck about 18 million. Uh, Paris struck like four and a half million. Uh, Brussels struck about 10 million. And I couldn't verify it, but there are rumors that the U.S.'s OSS, the precursor to the CIA, 
actually minted some for use in Indonesia. Now, another interesting thing is that uh, there were actually some pretty big errors in both the dies that London was using as well as the ones that Brussels were using. Now, the ones that were made in Brussels, apparently they had uh, only eight pearls on this little brooch right here. And they're actually supposed to be nine. And that actually was really noticeable when they tried to use them in Yemen, and a lot of them were actually refused. And if you look at the ones that were made in London, um, they actually left out one of the feathers. They left out this central tail feather on their dies. Uh, they eventually recut them and fixed that, but there was a error in the edge inscription. So all of those have a uh, thicker, uh, thicker font and they're a bit shorter than what you'd find on a real one. So it's just a couple of little interesting facts I ran across while researching these. Thought you might be interested. And if you want more information, please go over and check out Austrian Stacker's site. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks again, Austrian Stacker, for this great gift. And until next time, guys, take care.